Okay, let's talk about uh, socks. So, when we're out doing our Uncivilized Vitality adventures, um, people sign up to come along on one of our uh, hikes or camps. We typically send them a list of uh, clothing. Like this is, these are some of the things you need. Obviously, a base layer, uh, um, a warmth or insulating layer, and then your outer layer. And uh, we give them recommendations on uh, different things you can bring. Something always comes up is footwear. Right? So typically, I spend most of my day uh, barefoot. In the office, though, I'll wear like these little uh, old pair of Merrill uh, zero drop shoes. Um, and then when I'm out, I'll wear uh, muck boots or uh, I have some Baffin cold weather boots that I've had for probably 30 years uh, that are great. And um, people want to know like what to wear because clothing is the first family of uncivilized technology, family of tools. Your clothing is the most important. So uh, let's talk about socks because people always ask that. You can't just wear a pair of cotton socks. Sometimes I see people on our, our outings or uh, even people I know, they'll show up and they've got $200 hiking boots uh, and, and a pair of cotton tube socks. So the sock I'm going to recommend, the only sock that I wear and have worn for probably the last six to eight years is uh, Darn Tough. Now, this is the ankle cut uh, or, or uh, no-show cut. This black pair I'm wearing, uh, you can see all the wear spots on the bottom. They are clean, uh, by the way, but I mean, I'll, I'll wear them today. But These socks uh, are so uh, tough, not to be too on the nose with it, but that's the name of the company. The Darn Tough um, <clears throat> uh, Knitting Company is in Vermont. These are made in the U.S. They're imported merino wool, which merino wool is a very, th um, it's thinner than normal. The fibers, or I guess um, the diameter is smaller, like a human hair. They're very long, very kinked up and twisted, so that loft gives them, um, gives that wool its, its insulative uh, and wicking properties. And it's very, very strong, very strong. And the merino wool, uh, has less barbs on it, I guess, microscopic barbs than, let's see if I can, let me show you the other pair, than uh, standard wool, so it's, it's also less itchy. It's super soft, super soft. These are my uh, boot boot socks. These go up, um, it's also darn tough. These socks will sit up on your ankle and they go up a little higher. I wear these with my uh, boots. And since they are merino wool, they're super warm, super soft, super comfortable. I've never had, never had a problem with uh, blistering or the, the sock dropping down, you know, where you have to constantly pull it up in your boot. I've had this long pair. You can see it's stained from my boot. I've had this long pair, um, probably about six years. And uh, you can see, if I get by the camera, see how that, that stretchy elastic, you need a microscope to get down and see the real properties of those fibers. But... Um, I have this pair, I have three pair of these longer socks. I wear them all winter long. The merino wool, they don't smell as they, they've been out for a couple days in the wild around my, in my boots for a couple days. Um, they're anti-blister because they're, they're so tough in the way they're sewn. They're antimicrobial, they're wicking, they're, uh, they have a great insulative value. You, you cannot go wrong with wool socks, although there's a lot of garbage wool out there, cotton, poly, wool blends. Don't buy that or hiking socks. Spend the money, get yourself darn tough socks. USA made, right here in Vermont. The factory's been around 40 some years. And um, you can see some of the wear on my longer socks. I've had the, the, the three pair of boot socks probably eight years. Uh, these, let's see, 2023. These I've had at least um, at least six or eight years. And then my original pair were these green. <clears throat> Uh, I bought these, and they're not just for the outdoors. I bought these, you can see the wear patterns in the heel and down here. I bought these darn tough socks because of the wicking when I was teaching uh, CrossFit classes uh, at the University of Michigan for the, let's see, 2011. So I got these in 2012, and I was teaching maybe six classes a week there. Socks never wore out, uh, and they kept my feet dry, and I didn't get any blisters. I was doing probably six classes a week there between... Uh, my academic courses when I was uh, 
when the, before the lockdown, the crack center was open. And I used these darn, darn tough socks as my uh, athletic socks because the cotton socks were always giving me blisters and wet feet all day. So I went with this company, Darn Tough, and then I immediately bought a few more pair for my outdoor adventures because I'm always outside. I've put hundreds, if not thousands of miles in these socks. I use them in the winter. They get wet, maybe in the snow. Uh, my feet are still warm because they're wool. They're super soft, anti-blister. Can't say enough about these. Uh, they also have an unconditional warranty. Uh, the only thing is I have, I've never been able to use it. I haven't worn any of these out yet. But I'm pretty excited when I finally do wear these down so they're unwearable. Evidently, it's just a simple process. Uh, call them up. Let them know that my socks have finally worn through. And if I understand correctly, then I just will send them back and they would be replaced. Um... But yeah, I've had these, like I said, almost a decade. They've got hundreds of miles on them in the boot in the Michigan winters, and I haven't worn a pair out yet. So uh, that's pretty impressive. So darn tough socks. Go to, I'll have Tom put, uh, this is probably backwards because the camera's facing the other way, but that says darn tough. They come in different colors. You get men's, women's, kids, athletic cuts, ankle cuts, no show, boot, mid-length, all sorts of variety. Check out Darn Tough Socks. They are a great investment for your feet. And um, I guess I should say they didn't pay me to say this. These are my socks. I bought these. I just uh, love Darn Tough Socks. So when people ask me, when we go on the event, Dr. Moore, what should I wear on my feet? Uh, usually I say barefoot. Uh, secondarily, I say wool socks. Get a good pair of wool socks. Darn Tough are the only ones I'm going to recommend ever. And um, bring an extra pair. Other than that, oh, one more thing. Darn tough may not may not have thought of this when they're doing their advertising. I've been out in the winter before. My gloves are soaked or wet or ruined by the fire, which happens shockingly uh, more often than you would think. These are my widow mittens. I put these on and it keeps my hands warm, or I'll sleep in my extra. Uh, sorry, in my I take my extra pair, put them on my feet when I get in my hammock at night, or crawl under my tarp, and then I put the pair of socks I've been wearing all day on my hands at night. And you'd think that'd be stinky, but these darn tough socks do not, uh, they don't end up smelling. I don't know why I'm doing hand pump. It's why we do this, but uh, they dry out overnight and they keep my hands warm. So get you some darn tough socks for your outdoor adventures and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. That's it.